Hello and thank you so much for clicking. Color Expression here bringing you another swatch and review. So today we're actually looking at the three new polishes from Holo Taco. This is their Life's a Beach set. And then I figured while we're at it, we should kind of just look at all the Holo Taco creams. So we're going to also look at the two creams that came with the second unicorn bundle and also the four creams in the For Art's Sake bundle. And all the polishes today retail for $11 USD, but you can grab them in bundles on the Holo Taco website and that's actually going to knock a dollar off each polish. So the three new ones for today retailed for $30 USD. A few facts about Holo Taco. They are an independent nail polish brand owned by fellow YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. They are vegan and cruelty free and their formula is five free. Before we jump into the swatches, I just want to say hello and welcome to any new viewers. I hope that if you find any enjoyment in today's video, you will consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, make sure you turn on that bell because I do upload two to three new videos a week so you don't want to miss those and actually on Thursdays we're now doing premieres for the throwback episodes so make sure you tune in it's Thursday evening for me but I will put the times all down below in the description and I'll make a post in the community tab if you're interested and while you're down there leave a like and a comment because I respond to every single one but let's get into the polish so of course we're going to start off with a base coat and I used a peely base for the purpose of swatching but these creams are easily going to remove with any type of remover that you use so definitely use your base coat of choice. And we're going to go in rainbow order for this video as opposed to by collection. So starting out, we will look at What Do You Pink, which is a really beautiful pink shade. And we did look at it briefly on the channel earlier this year in the unicorn video, but I don't feel like I gave it the attention it deserved. And I definitely didn't have the love for it that I do now because I've been on like a cream craze. I don't know what it is. It's just like creams are so beautiful to me all of a sudden. So I'm really happy to take another look at this polish. And you can see in this application, we have really great opacity in two coats. The formula self leveled beautifully. I think that it was so easy to work with. And we do have a wide but rounded but kind of squared off brush. I'm not really sure what to call this. Let me know what you guys think of this brush down below, but it definitely takes a like a little bit getting used to, but once you do it a few times, you'll be like blazing through your nails like it's nothing. But now on to one of the new shades, which is the floor is guava. Watch out, don't burn your feet. Okay, sorry, just kidding. Uh, but you can see this is a really beautiful, like a almost pastel salmon-y red. It's like, I mean, the name describes it. It's like a lava guava, you know? So you can see, again, we have a really great and smooth application. This formula is just honestly really impressive. Like I, I didn't appreciate it for what it was before, but making this video, I think that this is such a good cream formula and I'm really, really happy with it. I think that Holo Taco did such a good job because compared to their original creams, like these ones are just so much better and their reformulation of it was like so needed and so worth it because these polishes are so beautiful and so easy to apply and just all around a like a really fun time to use. Next up is One Melon Followers, which, hey, maybe someday we'll have that. Who knows? Thanks for being here this early. Uh, but anyway, this is a really beautiful, like a, I would say kind of peachy orange shade. I think that Melon, again, is a really great descriptor for it, but you can see on this application, it just goes on so smooth yet again, and for such a light shade, we're getting really, really good opacity in just two coats again. So I just, I think that Christine did such a good job with this formula and with these shades. I think that they all look so well together. Like they're all cohesive, but unique and just so special. And I think that yet again, Holo Taco is just outdoing themselves with every release. And I don't know how long they can keep it up. Like is everything going to be this perfect all the time? I don't know. There's so much coming. We have another release this month, so definitely make sure you subscribe so you can be the first to see my review of that. I'm so excited. But now we'll look at a polish that did release earlier this year in the For Art's Sake bundle. This is Banana Hacks, which is a 
really beautiful banana yellow, like just how the name says. I mean, we're not gonna fault Christine on these names. They're all perfectly descriptive. Like, do I even need to talk about the polishes? I think you get it just by the name. But here you can see it's just a really beautiful yellow color and something happened to my second coat footage, I'm not sure. So this is actually a third coat, which this was one of the two that needed a third coat. I'll touch on that in a moment, but with this third coat, we got full opacity, and this is a really beautiful, like, slightly pastel-y banana yellow, and I think it's, like, such a great addition to my collection. I think that it's a really pretty color and not something that I had before, so yet again, a unique polish and in a great formula. I'm not gonna complain. I love this one. Next up is green screen green, which I was gonna try to do something fun and, like, put myself in the bottle because it's a green screen, but... I'm not that tech savvy yet. We'll get there someday, but for now, we're just gonna paint it on my nails as it was meant to be with the brush, and you can see as I'm applying it, we have insane coverage on this one, like practically a one coater, but we're always gonna put on a second coat. Like someone said in the comments of the last video, even if it's a one coat, is any person really putting just one coat of polish on their nails? I don't think so. So we're gonna come in with that second coat and you can see that perfectly covered any little like patchiness that was left, if there was any. And with our top coat, this is a really beautiful shade. I think that like it perfectly is suited to its name of green screen. She knocked it out of the park yet again with this color. It's like vibrant and bold and just super beautiful. So again, I'm very impressed. Now on to the final shade of the newest release we have, Seafoam Home, which rings true to its name yet again. It's a really beautiful shade that I feel like we've seen slight variations of a lot this year from different companies. Like I've seen a KB Shimmer, a Picture Polish, like I've seen a lot of this kind of like vintagey blue color but so far i think this one's my favorite it leans like a little bit more green than some of the others and it really just reminds me of like a perfect like beach color and just very summery and bright and beautiful so i think that this shade is perfect and like i said a moment ago this one I actually did need a third coat for during my live swatch, but when I was doing the swatch photos, I was able to do the whole hand in just two coats. So I think it was more just my application. I think I went a little bit thinner when I was filming. So here, this is two coats with top coat, and you can see I had full opacity, great coverage, and just again, a gorgeous shade. I, I don't know what it is. I think that this one is so beautiful. Definitely my favorite out of the three new ones. And next up, we have Scientific, which was from the Unicorn Dreams collection, along with What Do You Pink, and that came out, I believe it was like February or March of this year, so we've had this one for a few months, and again, I completely underappreciated it. Like, while I was doing this application, I was just so impressed with the coverage, like, really really great opacity, and I felt like the brush in this one was a little bit more rounded than like some of the other brushes in these polishes. So I definitely liked the one in this bottle and I think it made application a little bit easier because I was really able to like create that nice round line instead of like having those little divots at the corners. So I appreciated that about this one, but you can see it's just a really beautiful like sky blue color and I did do some nail art with this one. So definitely go check that out on my Instagram. And next up is a reformulation of actually one of the polishes that came out when Holo Taco originally launched back in 2019. So this is Royalty Blue, which at first definitely had a kind of like, definitely an interesting formula at first before they redid this in their newer cream formula. It was like, it was much more kind of thin and not watery because that's completely the wrong word, but this new version of it is much easier to use. It has the wider brush in there, so much easier application as well. You can see it just glides right on the nail, and I did get away with two coats with this one, but I'm thinking a longer nail is gonna need three because I did kind of notice after in these shots and in the photos, you can like see a little bit of nail line, but barely and I still think it looks really good as two coat coverage and if you put a topper on this or something that would like totally go away so again just really impressed with this color I think it's like bright and beautiful and yeah Holo Taco did a good job with this reformulation. 
But on to the final polish that we'll look at today. This is duct tape gray, which yet again, oh my gosh, did I just, did I write a script and reread it for every polish? Because this one speaks so true to its name. It like literally looks like you cut out duct tape and just stuck it on your nails instead of painting them. Like it's the perfect shade and the way this one was almost like kind of, it's not textured, but like just as it dried down, it got a little bit less smooth and it really like gave me that effect of like duct tape. So I thought that that was like just really funny how that worked out. But I did put on a glossy top coat for this final shot and for the photos, just so you can see the color and it's true glory and just get a nice feel for what it looks like you know it's just a it's a really nice gray shade that I didn't buy before because I didn't think I'd like it but once I put it on I was like I love having gray nails I think this is so cool so yeah definitely happy to have that one and like I say every time you guys know that the second I saw the new colors I got super inspired so I actually decided to do a water marble with these and I didn't really do like a specific like flower design I just wanted it to be like fun and kind of like retro and just like a good time it reminds me of like Hawaiian or just kind of you know like fun beachy summer happy vibes the opposite of what I'm looking at out my window right now so until the rain passes this is my happy place <laughs> Let me know down below what you think of the new shades from Holo Taco. Do you like them? Do you like their formula? Do you like their brush? Let me know down below. I also wore my purple shirt today to hopefully manifest into the universe that we want the purple cream next from Holo Taco because that has been teased and I was really hoping that we were gonna get it with this release, but I digress. We will wait patiently, I guess, but I do hope that that comes out soon. Again, I wanna say thank you so much to everyone who comes and watches these videos and talks to me in the comments. I I just have such a great time doing this and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon so if you like the content definitely make sure that you subscribe down below but that's gonna be it for today I will see you guys in the next one bye so today we're actually looking at nine new polishes they're not new and based out of the USA, they are vegan and cruelty free and I forgot some of the stuff that I wanted to say in this that came out when Holo Taco launched back in 2019. Back in 2019. <laughs>